the playoff beard. A tried and true symbol of the great sport of hockey and a custom as Canadian as apple pie. Apple pie isn't Canadian. Well, it's not American either, monkey boy. So kiss off. Hey, watch it with that monkey boy stuff, dude. Or what? You gonna drop the gloves? Come on, let's go. Right now. Put oh, them you up. want the business? Oh, cause I'll drop the gloves. Guys, guys, I... guys, come on now. We got a show to do here. Sorry, Sorry we're Jay. Jay. Now, as I was saying, growing a playoff beard is an often confusing and misunderstood practice and the ultimate sacrifice one can make to the hockey gods. Oh, don't worry. I got the sacrifice part handled. Do I want to know? No, you do not. Right. Well, on this very special episode of Widget and Pop Top, we're going to strip away the confusion, tear down the fear, and put the man back in Manly with our good friend, Lucky, the book on hockey playoff beards at our side. We'll sift through legend and actual fact to rewrite the book on growing a Stanley Cup-worthy playoff beard. Monkey boy. Don't call me monkey boy. This is it, dude. I remember to shave the day we clenched our spot. It's finally Stanley Cup playoff time. You didn't shave this morning? Are you crazy? That's not how a playoff beard works. Oh no, you gotta help me out, bro. What do I do? I don't want to be the reason we lose. What do I do? Go shave. <laughs> Rule one may just be the most important. So listen up. You must shave before the puck drops on your very first playoff game. Miss the cutoff and you're barred from growing a playoff beard until next season. How do I look? Did I miss a spot? Hello? All right, boys, listen up. This is a mustache, not a beard. This is a goatee, also not a beard. Mutton chops, still not a beard. Hipster chin pubes. Just, no. See what we're getting at here, people? It doesn't matter if your beard game is weak or strong. Grow those whiskers and embrace the manly. All of it. When your team wins the Stanley Cup, you'll be glad you did. Which brings us to rule two, addendum A. Shape it, buzz it, or grow it out. It doesn't matter what you do, just keep it consistent. Failing to do so means we'll lose. And if we lost, that means, well, it means... I... I don't know who you are. I don't know what you want. But... What I do know is I have a very particular set of rules for growing a proper playoff beard. Rules you must follow so our team can win. If you grow a beard and we win, then it's over. But if you screw up and we lose, I will look for you, I will find you, and I will probably yell at you a lot. I don't like this rule. I know, buddy. But we have a responsibility to our viewers to discuss it. Ugh, fine. But this does not mean we've lost faith in our teams in any way. Well said. Now, if your team is eliminated, and they won't be, rule number three, the final rule states you must shave within 24 hours of your team being eliminated. Not doing so could curse your team with a potentially devastating championship drought the likes only Toronto Maple Leafs fans know. Aw, poor little guys. Sucks to be them. Check it out, dude. I've got the beard of a regal hobo. That's because our team made it to the Stanley Cup Finals, pal. We reached the best and most manly part of growing a playoff beard. Ooh, I like the sound of that. What can we do with these newfound powers? A lot of things, actually. Scare small children, confuse old people, pose as undercover lumberjacks in an effort to expose the seedy underbelly of the logging industry. Ooh, I want to do that one. I want to do that one. Um, I do have one final question, though. Of course you do. Other than the guy on the paper towel, do lumberjacks still rock the flannel? Because I'd hate to show up to a logging camp and be the totally unfashionable one. What? It's a valid question. Sup bro, this video is lame. I grew a beard way before it was cool. Yeah, and by the time I get done with you, you'll have to regrow a new face before it was cool. Come here, 